guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys looking like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Well, no, I, won't, I don't want to say that, but had a very shiny face, I know. <laughs> oh, and if you ever ask him, that ain't even the worst. <laughs> it's saw him, ain't it, y'all? <laughs> oh, you would even say she glows. <laughs> I gotta find me another foundation because I, I don't care how many times I wipe my skin, I'm just oily. So I've been trying to clean it with a cleansing bar. I can't remember the name of Apexia or something like that. I don't know. I'll show y'all in another video when I'm home. I'm driving now, so I can't show y'all. Anyway. I got that bar and I've been trying to clean my skin with that but I think what I need to do is pull out my black African soap and I wonder what did I do with it y'all I have the actual shea soap from Africa when I went to Ghana it was a big old thing I only paid like a dollar or two dollars American dollars for it and it has lasted forever and I still had a big block of it left but I gotta remember what I did with it and it's so hard, you gotta take the knife and but that's how it was when I bought it. That's the actual Shea nut butter. Okay, yeah. So I need to find that and maybe cleanse my skin with that. See if I can get some of this oil out, but my skin has been so oily. And one thing, I have not been taking care of myself. I just have not been taking care of myself. I've just been eating whatever I wanna eat just sometimes I'll go to sleep makeup on you know just all kinds of stuff just all kind of foolishness tomfoolery <laughs> is what I be doing okay so I really do I realize I need to take better care of my skin so I have been trying to just you know cleanse it with this cleansing bar and see if that can help but I have very 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 oily skin as y'all can see and I even wiped my face before I got on probably got makeup all over my hand I took and wiped my face so I wouldn't be so shiny but do y'all see I'm still shining I'm just and the more I'm telling y'all I, I go to the bathroom I take a paper towel when I'm in the bathroom I wipe my face it's not shining I can come back an hour later and I look like I am glowing like a light bulb I, I just don't know what's going on with my skin and how oily it is but anywho, that's not even what I come on to talk to you guys about. But asking for a friend, what can I do? What's a good remedy that you guys know for oily skin? Somebody might say, stop wearing the foundation. Can't. <laughs> not next. <laughs> I'm just joking. But really next. <laughs> okay. Um, I need something. I see where... CoverGirl has come out with this new matte foundation and she even rubs it on the shirt and it don't come off. I'm like, hmm, hmm, <laughs> let me see if that's any good. I haven't tried it yet though. Anyway, y'all, I come on talking about taking care of myself and my health and um, just trying to get back. And I can tell you guys that I have gotten way off the of track. I mean, I have been way off the of track. I have not been feeling good. I started back having like my headaches, my little light headaches. My knees are killing me. I mean, just pure aching. And today, I just almost gave up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I almost just went in the office and asked my boss if I could just go home. That's just how bad my knees was hurting. And I'm like, I cannot keep doing this. But I know it's because of the extra weight. I got on the scale this morning. I was 236.4. Y'all, I need my behind whooped. I mean, literally whooped. I just, I need a whooping. <laughs> I, I, there's no other way around it. There's no other words for it. Just a whooping. Like a good old-fashioned where your mama, where your grandma used to make you go get your own switch out of the switch tree. Yep, we had switch trees in the country. Y'all grew up in the country. Y'all know what the switch tree is. And you better not come in with no little tiny one or you're going back out there and you're going to get worse. And then they'll take those little ones and tie them in a little knot. And yep, yep, yep. I survived it. 
people talk about spanking children now, but I survived it, okay? I survived. It didn't feel good to me at the time, but I survived it, okay? But anywho, but that's what I need. One of those good old whoopers. I cannot believe. And it's just so depressing, disappointing, hard, I, all the adjectives I can think of for just shameful. I am just so ashamed, so embarrassed that I have let myself get back up to 236.4 pounds and every time I step on the scale my heart just breaks and then I go feel down and gloom on myself and what do I do I go to comfort foods to make me feel better and I just been snacking and snacking and snacking and I have got to get a grip of it so I went today and I talked to um, I went and I talked to a personal trainer today and I told her, I said, I need personal training. I need to do water-based um, therapies, workouts. I need that. I cannot do it. She said, you know what? She said, I enjoy helping. You know, they got to sell the pitch. But I just really do believe her. And everybody that I talk to would be like, Ikea is your girl for that. Ikea is your girl for that. And I don't know if... They're just trying to push people off on her that's doing the pool because they don't like to do the pool. They rather do land based. But she even said, she said, I do not mind helping people. And you know, whether it was a sales pitch or not, it was one that won me over. And she's just a little old petite young girl. And she told me, she said, Don't get mad at me because I'm gonna work you hard. I said, Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna talk about you to myself and to my husband. Now, I'm gonna talk about you. I forgot to mention <laughs> that I'm gonna talk about her too. My YouTube family, oh, y'all gonna hear about it, okay? <laughs> but that's what I want. I'm paying money, and that's what I want. You know, I'm gonna start out with doing the 12 sessions, because that's the biggest package you can get. It's 12 sessions. I can either do an hour long or 30 minutes long. If I choose to do 12 um, hour long sessions, that's gonna be $406. If I do 12... 30 minute sessions I'm gonna pay, I think it's like 275, 276, something like that. I think I'm gonna do, you know, just looking at it and looking at the monies and looking at everything, you know, and trying to budget and stay in line with my goal. You know, I don't want to spend out a lot more because y'all know what I'm trying to do. But I say to myself, Nat, this is you, this is your life, you know. Do something for yourself sometimes. You spend all this time helping other people, giving to other people. Now it's time for you to pour back into yourself. And, you know, I would waste this on a purse or some shoes or items of clothing or buying something for my grandkids. You know, I would do something like that. Or I would spend it, we would go out to eat when... If I'm on this track, then guess what? I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to be meal prepping and everything. We're not going to be thinking about going out to eat and eating unhealthy. If I'm paying money out, I think that'll make me be more disciplined with my diet. Which, she's not even working on that part of it. Only thing she's working on is my exercise and working out. But she's going to call me back Monday and we'll have it down in concrete if that's what I'm going to do. She's going to see... And talk with her bosses if she can come off the floor a few minutes earlier so she can fit me in and do some um, around my schedule, my schedule, because I get off at 6. So, you know, I don't want to meet with her till about maybe 6.15, 6.30. And then once I do that, then, you know, I, I really, my thing was I didn't want to be over here too, too late. But she told me she could work with me at 7. You know, but I just didn't want to stay because I live an hour away. So she worked with me at 7, at 7.30. I guess I could be getting home by at least 8.30, almost 9. And then again, it's only two days a week. So if she can't work it out where she can see me earlier or she can, she said that she's um, scheduled for the exercise floor at that time. But she's going to talk with her supervisor to see if she can leave off the floor earlier, get somebody else to kind of cover it and come and work out with me but I just think right now I'm just going to do like the 30 minute sessions um, two times a week so I'll be working with her for six weeks because I'm buying 12 sessions of 30 minutes so she recommend two times a week which I feel like that's reasonable to work out with a 
person in the trailer. And if I like it, then I'm going to buy more. And then, like she said, after I get finished working out and we see what goes on in the pool after six weeks, I can decide if I want to stay with her in the pool or if I want to go with her and work out on the floor, which I do. I want to get on the weights. I want to get on those machines. I want to tune this body up. I want this. And I've been wanting to work out with a personal trainer, but just never wanted to pay the money out. I kept telling myself, you got that equipment at home, you know what to do, do it, do it. But sometimes it takes that extra push to get you where you need to be. And this is it. And if I don't stop, you know, y'all get so sick of spiraling down, you're losing the weight, you're doing good, you're on it, you're on it, you're on it. And then, boom. You forget all about everything you learn or you thought. You tell yourself, oh, I can get it back. I can catch up. I can do it. I'm just doing this for now. But then tomorrow will be different. Tomorrow just never gets here, you know. You just, you never get tomorrow. Annie might have said tomorrow's only a day away. But honey, let me tell you, my tomorrow's just never wanted to come. <laughs> never, do you hear me? When I say never, I mean never, okay? They just didn't come. And now it's to the point of where I am just about to bust out of my uniforms. Just uncomfortable. And I, I come too far. I did not go through having surgery to gain everything back. And sometimes I remember when I have patients that would come in and they would have had gastric bypass. And I saw some of them had gained their weight back. And I'm like, my God, how do you let yourself get like that? Or even people that I know that have had gastric bypass and they've gained their weight back. I'm like, how in God's name do you do that? Do you go through surgery and do that? And I'm looking at myself doing it and it's easy. <laughs> so I asked I had to ask God to forgive me for being judgmental, but sometimes he got to let you see yourself and what you're doing is wrong and it's so easy for you to do it. And people, you know, sometimes we are quick to say, how in the world could they have done this? or How could they have let that happen? But it is so easy. Do y'all hear me? It is so easy to do. But anyway, just wanted to come on and let y'all know starting personal training sessions I do not know if I know I won't be recording any of them because there's no way I can record and be in the order and everything and recording my sessions I just can't but I will give y'all updates on how it is give, tell y'all what she's teaching me how to do and what we're doing how I feel like my progress is I will most definitely let you guys know that but no matter what even if she can't fit in like the 6.30 time for me, the time slot for me. Even if she can't do that, I'm going to do the two days a week at 7 and just work out and get it out. You know, so, yeah. I just I just got to. And I'm excited because I want to do it. You know, I feel like it's a challenge. Whenever I'm in a challenge, I do awesome. And I need to tell my niece she needs to start that vegan challenge back up. Because when she done that, I was on it. I was finding recipes. And I still cook some vegan meals now. Like last night, we had black bean burgers. And we had um, squash um, with onions and tomatoes with some cheese on top. So we had like a squash casserole. So still still sticking with it. Not 100% vegan. No. Because I still love my meat. I still love my chicken. I, I'm just not ready to give up my chicken or my cheese. And I know dairy is something that I kind of need to stay away from. I know. I know. But I love cheese. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that. I try to keep y'all in the loop of when I'm doing things. When I'm doing something, okay? If I'm just not doing anything, I'm just not going to be coming on and being like, blah, 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 blah. Because <laughs> it's not even worth it. And I made a wreath for my door. And I did not record it because I was just trying it out to see if I could do it. It actually turned out cute. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen it. I made that wreath myself. And I'm going to do one for my mom. And I might record that one. So I might be doing that. I'm almost finished with fall decor throughout the house. So I'll be doing a video of each room and what I decided. I didn't do too much. I didn't get too crazy. But it's fallish and I'm loving it. So yeah. Just a couple few more pieces I'm looking for. Some pumpkins that Derek told me I don't need pumpkins. I'm getting them pumpkins. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to slide them right in there. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, y'all have a wonderful, blessed night. I will see you in my next video. Bye now.